his XP per minute is gonna start climbing even further than it already is right now. Yeah, they got the Meepo problem. We've seen a lot of Huskar in this tournament, a bit of Drowing. We have not seen too much Meepoing, but Mott, it's gonna happen. Moo has been scouted bottom lane as he is uh, sitting around a sentry ward. Old Chicken is just playing it cool right now, but here comes the rest of DC as Soxa and Weeha's smokes have broken. Good use of the illusions here. Scouting out one Meepo down in the river. Right. Moo should know that something is up right now. Like, they're all moving around and... Oh, the sentries are there. Ehome playing stupid, running in circles. Moo's like, hey guys, I found them! I found them! He goes on the Lanham, the Blade Fury will fall up. Here comes the Earthbind. Lanham gonna get disrupted now. Poof only, I think one went off there for Meepo. Now jumping. Call coming out. Old 11 gets one shot. Can he get two? He misses. No, he gets the second onto the Meepo. Look Three the dead. Mar. That was an amazing call. And Resolution will be the fourth to go down. E home. That it's, is huge. It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh my god. Oh dear. That, that was, was the fight they needed. E home. Just such calm patient play moo led them in to complete disaster uh, juggernaut running in circles there attack. might even have auto attack on and one just wants to make sure he doesn't accidentally hit the knicks but old chicken played him like a fiddle great shot calling for me home that's one way to get back in the game versus a meepo that suddenly was... old chicken almost has a battle fury a 4,000 gold swing 3,000 experience Dyer's change Oh denied. boy, we got a ball game here, Mod. That was a perfect. That was play. the best bait I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Thinking about going towards the Roshan pit, but they don't have a smoke this time, and OG do have a Zebra Wars, and they still do not have a gem. Demon has chosen to invest in Sentry Wards instead, which is lackluster. Smoke? Oh, they do have a smoke. Yeah, they, they have, have a smoke. smoke. Okay, I didn't see it. But they're too late. Roshan's dying way too quick. OG took so much money. The Dyer scan on the side. Sam's on his way, but Roshan's down. Now TNC. The choice is there. Do you want to try and find Blink Crush? They close the range on no tell, but Chris with the E Blade almost killing off Sam. The Nova in a great position on the hillside, but they both just four stop out. Moon, is he locked in the tree line there? Yep. He may not have an easy way out. He starts his own TP. Does not want to wait even for Blink Dagger to come off cooldown. The greatest time in the world, Moon. Looking to flank around from the side, get a blink call if possible. And he's gonna find one, but doesn't actually get the proper call. Slaughter pushed himself away with the blink dagger just fast enough. The moon will go down. Tink is the man to find that kill. But they're looking for more. Miracle comboing up the big deafening blast, the double deafening blast. Sutton will save Raven, but it won't save the rest of his team. Yule Scepter spinning him round. He'll just keep hitting up. Is he ever gonna hit the ground right now? The Sky Diver Raven will finally drop. A double for Crick, a triple for Miracle, and that should almost be the game. Staying in the game to farm more. Where you're, it's like you're staying in the game to develop like some kind of strategy and way to win the game. You've got all the pieces of the puzzle. That Drowag's just oh <laughs> okay with the with the war drums aura from the lizard and that frenzy. Yeah, they. He is oh, nice. Hurricane Pike, uh, Deja Rock, and the Oracle plus Chen behind this Drow means there's a lot of protection for Deja Rock. And getting the Solo Crest now for LGD. Like Deja Rock is he's he's over the hump. He had that ineffective mid game. The roar coming in from behind. The double roar. All the right lifts. Zhao Wei. He wanted to get it off before he died. He will manage to take out the Beastmaster and doesn't actually end up going down. Aggressive now with the Minimorphosis. BKB charges forward. Watch the Nico. The X will pull him back if he tries to get away. And maybe is fully healthy. Wants Deja Ra taking away the Mastership. Getting up close. Aggressive down and out. That's a worry. And it's the Alchemist. Maybe he wants the Drow. Oh no, I get it, I get it. Ooh, the Hurricane Pike pushback. We down in the oh, item world. We will eat Keep you safe. humble pie. Navi Dota! <laughs> you had 64 yep. HP, he manages to force not just out of uh, the alchemy, but the Essence Club as well. You know, I, 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 Hurricane Pike. Seeing <laughs> these lineups go late game with this new Axe build. MMY won't get the grave off, he's been hexed, he goes down. 
Dendi, though, may pay for this with his life. The Oracle with the False Promise. Will that be enough to save him? We'll find out soon enough. Aggressive. Roared up. There's the Ravage. He gets pushed back. He needs a Sun to target. The Grave will help him out. He's been roared again. Aggressive. Can he Sunder? It's going to be close. He goes down without Dio buyback. Dijarok gets a double kill and it's the throne of LGE oh that's going to melt. Oh boy. LGD, this it's is over. the worst possible way they could have gone 2 out in this series. Look at General, he is beaming ear to ear. Navi is now relaxed a little bit. Now they're going to make their way up. I think Liquid are well aware and they should start getting out as a group because there's no way they're going to win this team fight. They start drawing it, but they're not getting out fast enough. Maybe they actually want to fight around here. They're going to put Matumba Man on the front line, you feel. baiting him out. The Primal War goes down, but already an Orchid onto Jerex. That's going to stop a lot of the momentum. No, no. He's actually lassoed up, though, and Jerex may actually survive. BKB goes down. Primal Roar onto No, no. That'll stop the damage even further. Fada out there with the Exorcism. Gets the Gold Scepter off, touching a lot of that Sky Rock Mage Ultimate. He still has Spirit Siphons, but the physical damage, it's about to overwhelm him. He does go down, but the Draw Ranger is gone as well, and no no's out. He loses the Aegis and BGR down five. What? And now Storm Spear comes back up. They get the Telekinesis. Do they have the burst damage? No way. No no. Bounce around. Oh, what what is it's a lightning battle. No no. What? A jump and he got him. Jerix. Unbelievable. Jerix, what a god on the support position. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. A reliable source of lockdown. Where is he going? X is in the base. Just tired of this world. I don't... He's just going further and further into the base. Oh, there's a gem. Maybe he's going for the gem that was put down on the steps. Oh, but my they have God. No vision of it. They don't, but if he walks in, he, see, he should Moon. see it. How did he know? No way. How does he know? Seriously going to go for this? Then... Oh my god, he's actually going to get it. That's... Moon is actually a god. I can't Holy believe he just crap. did that. That's insane. Never ever doubt this man. They've got some time without this morph available. He's just going to go for the split push, and this is going to be an opening from MVP. He's going to continue go for the push to the top lane. The Replicant is on its way, but it's not ready just yet. Digital Chaos are going to lose their first racks. The news come out. Dubu down to half HP. Digital Chaos. Looking for the pickup, but they gotta be careful with their initiation. QO jumps back in. Freb, here comes the cavalry. He's gonna get the call. Misses completely. Misery will be able to get the four staff away. And we gets a little bit more magic damage on all the heroes. Nice stop there with the flame break. They are gonna be able to grab MP. They pull him on back. And unbelievable digital chaos may not only win this fight, but also the push in the mid lane. We ha, never mind. Pistol Blade comes out, almost gets taken out with the calling fight. It's not quite enough damage. Sox is gonna be left behind, but the whole entire rack is being taken by Resolution, oh MVP my. Phoenix, think yes. about the objective, save your buildings, Resolution leads out, already getting bashed up, has the waveform ready to go, but he turns, takes the racks first, gets the little extra before, oh, that wasn't the adaptive strike he was looking for, but he will get the kill nonetless. So much gold right now in Resolution's pocket, he's got almost 7,000 Morphing on his strength, he's got the replicate, he's also got a waveform coming in, they should not be a death unless Forever can hold him long enough, gets Ethereum Blade, managed to get the call out, Resolution. 500 HP, 100 gets away, over to the racks, up to the top lane, don't tell me, oh Resolution, you cheeky bugger, he's gonna take that extra range racks before he tries to retreat, has no mana though, uh, so I think he realized, my time here on this earth is done, I did well my friends, think of the deeds I did, and not of the death. Unbelievable, Resolution Holy just crap. turned an unwinnable position, and I'm not exaggerating that, I'm pretty sure that MVP can't lose to this fight, while well, they are chasing S4. They found the lasso, they need an arrow, they need right click, and he's about to go down, but no, there's going to be the face shift of the last second now. Angry Loda rushes in, he says, get away from my fairy dragon, leave him alone, and he EGM. does save him for now. Fear will get the kill, but he's left alone, he's got nobody else to help him out, he does have buyback, Aki going to work at this point, and look at the Agonips they're bringing everyone down. Everyone dying from Alliance and Fear will finally fall. But Sumail is still here to do some work, even with the Star Storm. It's too dead now for Alliance if they bought back on the puck. Bold out because his ultimate. He can heal up if he just gets up one right click. He can't do it. Universe kites him to death. A dieback of Bulldog S4. Also rejoining the fray with his own buyback now. A oh, dieback no. as well. The spirit bear's dead. Quite likely burning down. Falls to EG. Outlasting them down the stretch. Oh my god. Oh, that hurts, Mott. That.
really hurt. Ake, what? as well as EGM in 20 seconds in Loda, he does have another bear, but that's going to be his last as he's refreshed. They lose the Raxman. They're going to go for the base now. The Tier 3 tower is being assaulted, and it looks like this might be oh, a lost game for Alliance here, LD. EG pulling this one out late, pulling it out in Alliance's comfort zone. Now the BKB from Sumail, the lasso dragging the Spirit Bear away, and as the glyph ends, EG look to close this out. Can Loda hold it? Sumail 2 will die back, actually. Down for 130. Fear, he Not needs over to finish yet. this. They can't do it without Fear. He's about to go down. The he bought over. back. No, the my god, over. they're not going to get the this. They're not going to get this. They're all dead again. Oh. EG, can they close it? Universe desperately scrapping. Clawing. Ding, 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 motherfucker. He goes down too. And Alliance. Find the triple dieback to shut down EG. Dieback, dieback number four. PPD's down as well. Alliance know how to play the late game, say Alliance. Oh, EG, they have to be kicking themselves. They underestimated Ice Armor, and it will haunt them to the bitter end.